So let me get this straight. You want to create your own weather forecast. Be my guest. But seriously, I actually think it's incredibly smart for your own safety as well as incredibly empowering to be able to analyze the day ahead. And it's pretty easy to do with a few simple steps. Okay, the kind of weather forecasting we're going to be doing is now casting. So that's using real live data to figure out what's happening in the next 12 to 24 hours for your cousin's wedding eight months from now, that's long-term weather forecasting. We're gonna need a whole other science mark for that. Step one, look outside. Open the window, get outside for a second and figure out what the weather's doing right now. Blue skies or just some high cirrus like today, not much is expected to happen in the next 12 to 24 hours. Mid-level cloud that's sort of bubbling up, looking like stripes or cotton candy, then the weather is changing. And it's overcast or rainy or snowy or you've got thunderstorms, then active weather is happening. Step two, we're going to have to look at some weather charts now. But again, this is all live data. So we're going to look at the satellite to figure out where the clouds are right now. We're going to look at the radar to see what the precipitation is like and where it's moving. We're going to look at the winds, where they're going and how fast they are. And we're going to look at things like temperature, whether it's dropping or rising, pressure and dew point. All of this information is available through Environment Canada. There are so many different weather sites and sources, but the best place to start is Environment Canada. Speaking of Environment Canada, don't forget to check constantly through the day for updates on weather watches and warnings. And that is a matter of safety. If you're outside and you see lightning, you get indoors immediately. Uh, adverse weather can happen really quickly. Step three, verify your forecast. Uh, wake up the next morning and check to see how you did. Uh, that's how we all improve as weather forecasters. And I'll see you all on Twitter where we can really nerd out. And now you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.